Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add decals or stickers to your virtual set, such as the ones I have added here. As you can see, there is a logo on the backdrop, a logo on the floor, and also these blue stripes that I've added on each side of the stage. First, you need to prepare your graphic assets. Here you can see I have a logo with the text and I have another one which is the logo by itself. They are both saved as PNG with transparent background. In my content browser, I prepared a new folder called decals and now I can just select my two PNG files and drag it into the folder. I'm going to select the logo with the text first, right click on it and create new material. Once the material is created, double click on it to open it up. Select your result node and change the material domain from surface to deferred decal. And then change the blend mode from opaque to translucent. And now all you have to do is connect the alpha to the opacity. Apply and save. Now let's add a decal actor to the set. Select the plus icon here and type in decal. Select decal actor. With the decal actor selected, select the brand logo material that we just made and drag it into the decal material slot. Make sure you are not in game view so that you can see the green bounding box on the decal actor. And now you can adjust your logo to the position that you want it. Next, I'm going to add the details on each side of the stage. I'm going to be repeating the same step. Right click on the brand logo, create material, and double click on it to open it up. Select the result node, change the material domain from surface to deferred decal, and change the blend mode from opaque to translucent, and connect the opacity pin. Apply and save. Now I'm going to select my existing decal actor, hold alt and duplicate it and I'm going to change its decal material. I'm going to select the material that I want and hit the arrow button in the decal material slot. And now I can adjust its size and position. As you can see, we have a few issues here. First, the sticker or decal is also appearing on the frame and on the neon light. So to make sure that the sticker only applies to the face of the hexagon, I can select the back faces or the back meshes and search for decal in the details panel and turn off the receive decal tick. Now as you can see, the sticker is only affecting the front of the face and not the frame. Another issue we have is that it's also appearing on this center area over here. Now I can't turn off the receive decal for this mesh over here because otherwise it won't be able to show the logo with the text. So a way to fix this is I can actually just make the area smaller. You see this green bounding box over here? I can turn off the lock on the scale and I can actually make it much smaller, the thickness of the sticker so that it will only affect a very small area like so. Then I can adjust the position Make sure your snapping is off and I can adjust the position so that it only affects this front part. And now as you can see, it's only affecting the side and not the center part. And now I'm going to hold Alt and drag the decal to the other side. And then I'm going to flip it by just making it minus 1.2 on the Z axis. The last thing I want to do is add a logo or decal on the floor. So I could just select the first sticker that we put on, hold Alt and drag it out and turn it 90 degrees so that it faces down and bring it down on the floor. Now, the problem here is that because the background is a dark color and the logo is a dark color, you can't really see it. To fix this, I'm going to duplicate the material of this decal. Right click on it and duplicate and I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to move this node to the left a little bit down here and I'm going to add a add node. Plug the RGB into it, then into the base color and I'm going to hold down the three key on my keyboard, click on an empty space and I'm going to add the color on the A input, double click on the color palette and I'm going to set it to pure white. Hit OK, apply, 
and save. And now I'm going to drag the new material into the material slot. Congratulations, you have successfully branded your virtual set. I hope it was useful and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.